is a hormone replacement therapy dementia protective for women over 55. So hormone replacement therapy to me means the use of estrogen and or another hormone like progesterone for women as they go through either the perimenopause transition or when they're postmenopausal. I have learned more about this topic, which I can give a shout out to Maria Shriver, who was responsible for me buying the shirt at Macy's in Pasadena back in 2015. When a woman goes through the perimenopause transition, their estrogen drops. And in certain women that have one or more copies of the ApoE4 variant, that woman is at extra high risk of fast forwarding of amyloid deposition. So perimenopause transition affects certain women more than others in terms of brain health. A woman is symptomatic and their estrogen drops, then we can use hormone replacement therapy in combination with the treating GYN, primary care doctor. We look at estradiol levels and we try to you know, use hormone replacement therapy to make the symptoms better because we want women to live a higher quality of life. Perimenopause is a neurological problem. It's a real condition that needs to be treated. And in someone who is perimenopausal in their late 40s and early 50s, I think it's pretty common for women to be prescribed hormone replacement therapy. We generally, I'm not your doctor, please talk to your doctor. Bioidentical hormones, we tend to use patches better than pills because it's slow transdermal bioidentical estrogen uh, can get absorbed. We then track the estradiol in the blood every few months, and then we track for symptoms and we try to level it out. I believe that using hormone replacement therapy based on evidence that is you know, coming around, that longer term use of hormone replacement therapy is, is protective on, on women's brains. The studies that were done in the past weren't bioidentical. There was like, you know, let's get the hormones from horse urine and let's test it in the 90s. And then let's, let's publish a paper in the 2000s. And then 20 years later, we're still thinking the same thing from a study that was done decades ago. So when you use these bioidentical hormones, and in our research study, we showed the women that had estrogen replacement and hormone replacement therapy on board, their brains looked better. Their brains didn't age as much. They didn't have as much atrophy. They had less uh, amyloid protein. And we had women into their 60s that were still on hormone replacement. So the, the take-home question, what about hormone replacement therapy for women 55 and above? Talk to your doctor, but I'm generally okay with it. We don't have sufficient evidence to be definitive about this. But in our recent study that we you know presented, not fully published yet, but we presented this at uh, the Alzheimer's Association International Conference 2025, it showed that we had uh, improvements in brain marker proteins like the tau protein after a woman starts on hormone replacement therapy. And so if you're a 55 year old woman looking for answers, talk to your doctor. If you want to learn more, you can sign up at allslabs, A-L-Z, labs.org. You can learn more there. Um, ind.org is doing a lot of great blood biomarker work and retainyourbrain.com also in the chat to learn more about this. There's tons of content about HRT. But yeah, I believe that HRT is amazing and needs to be used responsibly and at the right time, at the right dose and the right woman and have the right doctors uh, paying attention.